Contact Chords Tool makes creating expressive chord progressions easy. In this video, we'll look at what Chords Tool does and how to use it in your own productions. Here's a short melodic idea in the key of F minor. Now, here's that same melody accompanied by an expressive chord progression created using the Chords Tool. The Chords Tool is a quick way to play full chords with single key presses. This makes it possible to generate musical ideas and experiment with harmonies quickly, speeding up your workflow and allowing you to create your most expressive music yet. Let's use Contact's built in Piano Uno instrument to provide us with a traditional piano sound. This can be accessed by clicking Piano Uno in the library, then double clicking the Piano Uno preset. Now we've got a sound to play, let's click on Tools, and this will show the tools available to us in the side pane. Clicking on the Chords tool will bring up a list of available chord sets. So let's dive in by double clicking on the first one, Adios Berliner. This brings up the Chords tool with the Adios Berliner chord set loaded. This gives us seven chord circles, which will automatically play a chord when they're triggered by MIDI, contact a virtual keyboard, or simply by clicking the circle itself. Clicking the patch name brings up the chord set browser, where we can find other chord sets via the genre, type, and style tags. This gives us a quick way to set the right mood. Let's set the genre to jazz, the type to medium complexity, and the style to popular. This filters the available chord sets, showing us just those that fit the feeling we've chosen. Let's go for chill, and we can click the cross button to return to the Chords Tools main page. As you can see from Contact's keyboard, by default the Chords Tool is active over three octaves, with each white key of an octave playing a different chord. You may have noticed that each chord circle has a different pattern. We can get an idea of the circle's chord voicings from these patterns. The 12 semicircles represent the 12 tones of the chromatic scale, from C in the centre to B at the edge. The lit circles indicate the notes used in the chord. If we change the scale selector, the chords will automatically change to fit the new scale, and this change will be represented visually. In addition to the scale selector, we have an octave control that transposes the chords up or down. Humanize adds random imprecision when triggering the chord. Turning the knob to the right increases the likelihood of such variations, and you can adjust the effects parameters by clicking the little up arrow. The strum knob adds a short delay between each note's start, as if the chord was played by strumming the strings on a real instrument. Clicking the up or down arrow above the knob will select upward or downward strumming. The Chords tool makes it easy to replace chords or even add your own. To replace a chord, click the spyglass icon below a chord circle and the chord browser is brought up. Here you can pick a new chord for one or more of the chord circles. You can add your own chords by clicking the record button and playing in a chord via MIDI. You can also randomize a chord by clicking the dice icon. You can drag and drop a single chord or all the chords as MIDI using the export handle. For more options, you can enter the settings page where you can switch the keyboard mode to advanced, toggle whether the chord names are shown, and adjust the keyboard mapping. Let's see how we can use the chord tool to make a chord progression quickly. Here we have the Mark II Classic Electric Piano preset from the Contact Player Factory Selection 2 library and the Dawn in NYC chord set. We can record in an inspirational chord progression by just pressing a few keys. Here's a vocal in D-sharp minor. Let's try the Bogart pad and carry chord set to make a suitable chord progression.
How about we try triggering Haifa's balloon preset using the Arpelagrano chord set with a touch of strum. The chords tool is a great way for beginners to quickly generate musical ideas and for more experienced musicians it's a useful feature that can help you come up with chord progressions you might not have considered before.